Welcome back to Chronicle. As more people struggle to make ends meet, there are more people reaching out to lend a hand. But sometimes those lending a hand, they need some help as well. Right now, the Open Door mission is short volunteers and resources, but they say they will stay open and continue to serve those in need. KETV Newswatch 7's Travis Williams has the story. They averaged 15,000 volunteers a month before the outbreak, but now the Open Door mission is down to a staff of just 72. And uh, are we ever feeling it? Candace Gregory, the president, says they're still here, though, Thank you. because this community needs them. And we are been here since 6.30, setting up, and people started arriving at 7. It shows you the desperation of food insecurity in our community. Lining up at 7 for a food drive not scheduled to start until 9 a.m. You would not do that if you were not desperate for food to supplement your income. Families living at the campus are also feeling the effects of COVID-19. Although they don't have any cases, they're self-quarantined not leaving except for work or appointments. 75% of my administration staff are in the children and youth programming right now so that parents can go to work. I'm desperate. I, I'm serving 250 more meals a day just because I have kids home from school. Under normal circumstances, Candace Tate would be one of the people helping feed those kids as a school cafeteria worker. For those kids where that is like the only meal they get, it's what I know they're probably going through a hard time right now. Those hard times being felt by all, even by the people trying to help. Many of our programs we have put on pause because we just can't do them. Open Door Mission says even without volunteers, their goal is to host a food drive every month. Their next one scheduled for April 18th. Go up to that next car. In Omaha, Travis Williams, KETV Newswatch 7. So before the COVID-19 pandemic hit the Metro Food Bank for the Heartland budget around $73,000 to buy food in the month of March, they ended up spending around $600,000. KETV and Food Bank for the Heartland teamed up this past week for a virtual telethon, and we helped raise money to feed local families during this crisis. With your help, we collected more than $118,000. Well, businesses are doing what they can to help people as well. A Metro Brewery started using their resources to make hand sanitizer. Here's KETV Newswatch 7's James Wilcox. Just like other bars and restaurants, the Brickway Brewery and Distillery has taken a hit. The owner tells me he has already had to lay off nine people. But when he realized there was something he could do to help, he didn't hesitate. So you heat it up and the alcohol vapors rise first. Equipment Zach Tremert usually uses to make beer and whiskey will soon be pumping out something else. We're going to try to do thousands and thousands of bottles. Hand sanitizer. We'll be donating all the 50 mil bottles. Tremert says he was shocked at the response when he posted his plan on Facebook. All of our UPS drivers, our FedEx drivers, uh, the postmaster of Omaha called this morning. Later this week, the Brickway Brewery and Distillery becomes a production line. Workers turned volunteers will start bottling it all up, even though some no longer have a job. It's devastating. Uh, we've had to lay off uh, nine people already. But as a team, they remain determined and they're ready to help. But now it's up to us to really deliver on what we said we would do. In the Old Market, James Wilcox, KETV, News Watch 7. And while the doors to your favorite restaurants may still be closed, you can help them stay in business. As KETV News Watch 7's Michelle Bandur reports, Takeout Tuesdays now play an important role in supporting the local economy. Instead of customers, pizza boxes and to-go containers are now inside restaurants, and the food industry hopes people's healthy appetites will keep them in business during this crisis. At Jonesy's Taco House, Would you like water, Mayo? Taco Tuesday has turned into Takeout Tuesday. Doing the to-go orders only is really tough on us, especially on Tuesdays when the place is usually completely packed out. It's kind of weird how slow it's been. We're definitely used to it being pretty busy and ready to go. At Noli's Pizza, they want Takeout Tuesday to be every day. We are here. We are open. We um, open normal hours. We're doing carry out, take out, curbside delivery. But for bakeries like the Cake Gallery in Westgate, where April and May are huge months for us, now we have no business. They serve up sweets for special occasions, not everyday meals. Owner Ed Otto says they've lost 90% of their business. Everybody that I work with is dying to get some money right now just to stay afloat. So it's just gut-wrenching, not just for my own employees, but for everybody that I service as well. 
Otto's father opened the cake gallery in 1967. Ed Otto started working here at age 12 with his dad. He shares his experience and consults hundreds of other bakers across the country with online classes. He's now teaching them cakes can be the best medicine in the health crisis. Use that care package concept and do that with your neighbors. Show a little bit of hope in some, you know, something that lifts their day. Otto is also counting on customers like six-year-old Justina, who still wants to celebrate her birthday with a mermaid cake. Being that it's her birthday, I'm glad they're still open. And Otto hopes his father's bakery can survive another 50 years and people will be celebrating again soon. And to give people hope, to let them know there will be an end to this, but we all have to work together to make this. We have a complete list of the open restaurants and bakeries at KETV.com. Michelle Bandur, KETV Newswatch 7. And there are more ways you can help as well. Let's take a look at a few here. The Omaha Community Foundation has established a COVID-19 response fund. The money will provide grants to low-income families who may not have access to health care. You can donate at omahafoundation.org. The Salvation Army has set up a similar relief fund. It will help people struggling to pay rent or utility bills. You can make a contribution online. That link is centralusa.salvationarmy.org. And Nebraska First Lady Suzanne Shore leads a new relief initiative. She says the money will help people pay their bills, get food, and secure school supplies for low-income students. You can learn more or donate at neimpact.org. And of course, you can help everyone by just staying home. Health professionals say if folks commit to their self-quarantine, we can flatten the curve. Well, coming up on Chronicle, far in distance, but not in spirit. People come together while staying safe. And here are some folks doing the same thing. These kids are having a window visit with their grandparents. Grandma and grandpa read them a book. Well, they sat outside and the kids stayed in the house. So sweet. You're watching KETV News Watch 7's Chronicle.